Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if you're new here. Today I have a very exciting video to share with you. I am going to be unboxing and reviewing this amazing Iowa Tech juicer machine from Amazon. It is no secret, I love Amazon. Now if you have Amazon Prime, like myself, shipping is so quick. This literally showed up on the doorstep the next day and it was packaged so amazing. Everything was just put together so well. Does come with a pamphlet, instructions, and very easy to understand. I've wanted a juicer for quite some time, but I just never really pulled the plug on, you know, the purchase. And I'm so happy with this. This one I feel like is actually relatively inexpensive, but amazing news for you guys. If you want to try this juicer out, there is a 50% off promo code. I will put it on screen. I will also have that information and the link down below in the description box of today's video. Also pinned in the comment section for you. I am telling you this juicer will knock your socks off. So let's go over a few details about this. It does come in several different color options. This one that I have here is Galaxy Gray. It is a two speed. So you can see here, you just have this dial that controls everything and it does plug in. This is BPA free. It's two speed. You can also put through any kind of fruit, any kind of vegetable. I've tried quite a number of things so far and everything has been perfect. Today though, I am going to do a little test live on camera with you. I have never really put the peel or rind of something through yet and I've always been just peeling it. I want to test that out and see if it actually works, if you can do that, because I feel like that would also cut down on a lot of time for me as well. So I'm going to go over everything with you. We're going to do a demonstration. I'm going to set it up with you. We're going to juice a few items and then we are also going to disassemble it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to flip you around and we are going to demonstrate all about this juicing machine. So now I'm going to guide you how to put this together. We're going to do a little walkthrough here. So this is our main unit. And first thing we do is just take this piece here and you see there is a button. We're just simply going to push it in and then click this into place. Next up, we will be taking this piece and you simply push it in until it clicks. Now we're going to pop this on just like so. Here's the next piece and you can see a little arrow here. We want this on top. So we're gonna just turn it and twist it until the arrow is on top. If you don't have the hand strength to do so, they do give you this handy dandy tool. Also for removal as well, if you don't have the hand strength to turn it off, you can use this to help aid you. So just whatever you prefer. And now we're going to put this on the top, next piece, like so. This is your little pusher to guide the food down. And then they also give you a nice brush for cleanup. Here is your large bowl, which is gonna go under here to collect all the pieces and extra bits. And then there is another bowl exactly the same as this, which will go under here to collect all of your juice. I wanna juice some lemons with you and the little container that comes with this, I've already juiced some oranges. So I'm just gonna pop my other little container under here to collect the juice with. So we're gonna juice a few lemons just to show you how easy it is. I've got two here, we'll just do. And before you start, it's always best to just give them a nice roll. A good roll because this is going to just get those juices inside flowing. It's also going to help you to loosen the skin for removal. I remove the skin and well I always have so far but I actually want to try one. We're going to try a little piece and leave the skin on. I just want to see how it works and separates. So now we're simply going to Cut the end off here, remove that, and then I just peel it down. Oops. So 
So we're gonna go ahead, get started, pop that in to collect everything. We need to plug the unit in itself. So I'm just gonna do that over here right now. And then there is, you heard it beep there, there is a little knob on the side here and you simply turn it. Here, I'm gonna bring you over. Here's the knob and we can go to reverse. Right now we're in, I guess, neutral, off position. And then we can go to soft or hard. So just gonna do soft now for the peeled lemon. So the peeled lemon, goes down in this hole here and you can guide it a little bit. You'll see the juice flowing down the back into this container and all the extra will go in here. Now I'm going to do these ones next. This is a total trial for me. I'm going to pop it up to hard just because it does have peel. We'll see if this actually separates. Oh, there we go. Did you see that fly out? That's everything left that's gonna be disposed of and the juice is back here. So let's turn this up to hard. We'll see if you can leave the peel on. So it looks like you can. That takes away an added step, which I am happy about. So now knowing that, let's just turn this off for a sec. I'm going to simply just chop the end off this one to get rid of those hard bits. And I will throw this whole thing in. And put this back to hard. And we'll juice this guy. Oh, a little bit too big, I'm gonna have to quarter. Now it's finishing, I always let it go just for a few more seconds so make sure that it gets everything pushed out. The last little bit of juice that's remaining can just drip down in. Then after about say 20 seconds, I'll just go ahead, turn it off when there's nothing else coming out. Unplug the unit before you start taking everything apart. And look at how much juice we got out of two lemons. That is way more juice than I would ever get. Look at over almost four ounces. So two ounces per lemon, way more juice than I would ever get juicing by hand. So I definitely think this is worth it. And also very excited now that I realize I don't actually have to peel all my lemons and oranges. I thought that I did. So put that under there and catch that last little bit of lemon juice that's dripping out. So now this would just all go in your compost or garbage, whatever you're doing with it, and we'll remove that out of there. I always start by just taking this off and this is all easily washable, just pulls off. The next thing to do is remove this. Here, let's get this out of here so it doesn't spill. And again, if you don't have that arm strength or hand strength, there is the option with this as well to remove. Pull all of this out and we can just wash it all up with some nice soapy water. To remove, you're going to push this button in just like we did to put it in place. Push and it just comes right out of there. And you can just wipe this up with a nice damp cloth, wipe down your unit, anything splashed or got sticky and that's it now you would just want to wash everything up and you are ready to go for the next time you want to juice something all right so just to wrap this video up i hope that that demonstration on how to put together operate disassemble and care and clean was helpful to you 
Also wanted to mention, because I'm not sure that I did in the demonstration portion, that this is actually dishwasher safe according to their Amazon description. I've just been hand washing everything, but the fact that it is dishwasher safe, I'm going to test that next. And I mean, it just makes life so much easier. I am so impressed with this juicing machine. I cannot stress how happy I am. It just makes your world so much easier. It's fun too, trying different fruits and seeing how they juice out, what they taste like when they're juiced, making up concoctions, trying different recipes. You know, there's always something new to explore when you can do fruits, vegetables. I do recall the one thing they said though was to not use fruit that contains pits. So do keep that in mind. If you're, that kind of fruit has pits, then you're gonna wanna, you know, cut the fruit away from the pit. The thing I noticed most was the amount of juice I get out of the fruit so much more than from when I was always doing it by hand for my lemon water, for my fresh orange juice. You get so much more juice. So now you're actually saving money because your fruit is going further, you're getting more juice, more value for your money and the food that you, you buy with that intention. So I think that's wonderful as well. You know, I appreciate the fact that it is on the smaller side, easy for storage for those of you who have not a lot of room for these type of appliances, but would definitely like to try. And at this price point, 50% off, you just have nothing to lose. This makes this so affordable. I am sitting here telling you, I am always honest, this little machine is so, so good. And I definitely think it would make a wonderful gifting idea, a gift to give somebody. I think this would be a really unique and fun gift. And if you yourself have been on the fence or wanting to try out juicing, I think this is a great machine for starters as well because it is so easy to use and just easy in general to care for. Love the fact that it's BPA free. It honestly just hits all the marks. So I hope this review was helpful. If you have any additional questions on this juicer machine, please leave them down below in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Don't forget the product link and that 50% off coupon code will be down below in the description box. I'll also pin it in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave me those comments. Let me know if you've tried this one out, if you're gonna pick it up and have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you back on my next one real soon.